Hello, hello, everybody. This is Melissa from stampwithmelissa.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Minnesota, which is in the United States. And today I've got crazy hair. <laughs> what is new? Am I right? Um, welcome to my Tuesday night live video. If you are a regular or if you've watched before, you know the drill. Say hi. If you've never watched before, even if you're catching the replay, please say hi in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from. I always go back and look at the comments. So don't worry. I will see it if you have a question or something. Um, we're just going to give this a little bit to make sure that I'm in the right place and that somebody sees me. <laughs> um, but welcome, welcome. Alicia's on. Yay. Hi, Alicia. Okay. So that's like my key is like Alicia or Barb or my mom. Those are like my key or Keisha that I'm on and in the right place. So Alicia got the prize today. She was first. <laughs> hey, Lori, welcome, welcome. All right. So I have a lot of fun things to share with you. It is August 2nd, August. I can't believe it. This summer has flown by. Um, hey, Kathy, welcome everyone. Um, so this summer has absolutely flown by so far and it's August. And if you get my email newsletter, you saw that I actually went fall decor shopping over the weekend. I just got bit so hard and I was like, I need to go. <laughs> so I bought supplies to make like wreaths and a pump comp pump pumpkin pumpkin garland i was mashing those two words together pumpkin garland a punk garland yeah we're going with it anyway um and then let's see there's just so many fun things going on so this week we are going to work with the splendid day bundle hey keisha um which is not we're not making any christmas or fall or whatever cards we're making just some just because cards today but um, I want to just preface this. My brain's a little frazzled because if you guys know, I work in accounting and we are in our close right now. So at the beginning of every month, we go through a close period for the previous month. And so I am like staring at Excel spreadsheets all day and my brain is like, whoa, what am I doing now? I'm crafting. So just bear with me. <laughs> um, anyway, so things I needed to share with you. Number one, there are new celebration items. So a few things have sold out, um, these bad boys, the pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes. Those have been gone for a few weeks now. Um, but the tree lot dies, which I featured last week are also now sold out. So you cannot get those any longer. So hopefully you did if you wanted them because they're gone. Um, so yeah, hopefully you got them, but Stampin' Up! has come out with a new item. So you can head over to my online store and see those. Um, the link is right here, shop.stampwithmelissa.com. It's also in the description of this video. Um, all right. So then let's talk. There was something else I wanted to share, but I don't know what it was. <laughs> so hopefully it comes back to me during the video. Um, if not, that's okay. If it was important, I'll update you on Facebook or a newsletter or something. Uh, but hopefully it wasn't too important because it's gone. So, <laughs> um, yes. Okay. Lori, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that up. I should mention this. This is my cruise chart. It's got the old title there. Um, so Lori is talking about if you're new here, I shared a few weeks ago, I have a goal to earn the Stampin' Up! incentive trip, which is actually a Norwegian cruise. It originally was supposed to be a Baltic cruise. So this says Baltic on it. Um, but for obvious reasons, we're now no longer going there. So I have a goal to hit the Norwegian cruise and this is my chart. So all the white boxes are what I have left to fill. And you guys, I am fingers crossed we're going to do it. And you guys have been so kind and generous and supportive. And I so appreciate that. So yeah. All right. Let's talk about today's video. Um, so Tuesday nights when I go live, I do a card class. This week we're featuring the Splendid Day Bundle. Um, or actually it's called the Splendid Thoughts Bundle. But it's the Splendid Day Suite in the catalog. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and there is always in ordering, you can order the class to go. Okay. So, um, if you head over to my online store here, shop.stampwithmelissa.com and you put in this host code right there, M P R Z J F P Z it's new this month. Um, you can get the card kits for free. So it's a $35 minimum order before tax and shipping to get the six card kits to each of the three designs. Um, and then if you go to $50, you will get a full pack of the flower trinkets. Now that's not actually what these are called, but I think the name is really long. It's flowers adhesive backed trinkets. So I've been calling them the flower trinkets. Hopefully you guys don't mind, <laughs> but you'll get these for free from me if your order is over $50. Okay. Um, thank you, Kathy. She said, good luck. Well, thank you so much. Um, fingers crossed. And I, I promise we will have some sort of party. If I earn that thing, we will have a party and we will celebrate together. It will be virtual. So no worries about that because 
my customers and my, my followers are all over the place. Even my team is all over the place. So, okay, enough talking about that. Let's go ahead and take a look here. We've got the beautiful mini catalog. If you flip to see my placeholder is my sets. Um, Oh uh, yeah, Alicia said, woohoo. Alicia gets to party with me more often because she's on my team. So <laughs> she gets to party with me every month or more. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Sounds good, Lori. Thanks for catching up or whatever, catching, tuning in. That's the word, tuning in while you could. And we'll see you later. All right. So pages 64 and 65 of the mini catalog feature this suite. It's so beautiful. And it is actually the first time in the like holiday catalog i'm trying to flip to the front in the holiday catalog that stampin up has put a suite that is not geared towards a holiday which is really awesome because we do have um friends in like australia uh who you know it's not winter there so when we're celebrating christmas with all of our snowmen and stuff uh they're in summer so <laughs> uh so anyway this is kind of a fun one and that's why we're featuring it today Okay, so let's take a look. Here's the bundle. It is called Splendid Thoughts, and it is a cling mount stamp, which means that it is red rubber. I'm going to open it, but we're using most of the stamps today, aside from those two, but you can see those two there. We're also going to do some die cutting live today, um, and let's take a look. So I wanted to share with you the cards that I already made this week. Um, so this one I shared yesterday. Monday. It says, let's celebrate. I think it's so fun. And you've got that shiny paper. That's the DSP that's in the suite. Uh, so, so pretty and so fun. And actually you can see back here, I'm trying not to blind you, but this Sahara sand piece right here that's textured, that's also DSP too. And if I did a good job of adhering this, you can't see the other side, but I didn't do the best job in the corner. So there, you can see the other side is shiny. <laughs> um, if you get this card for me, don't peel it up. <laughs> oh, anyway. All right. Then the one I shared today, I know, isn't the DSP pretty? This is the card I shared today using this bundle. And this one was actually a team challenge. So let's see if I remember the five things. But I challenged my team last month to make a card. Um, and Alicia made a couple uh, using five parameters. So it was black and white, ribbon or twine, clean and simple, birthday and blending. I remembered all of them. So this one has all of those on there. And I thought it was a fun challenge. And I do color challenges um, on my newsletter and in my Facebook group every Tuesday. And so this is the challenge this week is black and white. Hey, Deborah, welcome. Um, black and white. And I thought it was so, so fun. So speaking of my team, we have a team meeting tonight after this video, so I better hurry. Um, but if you are ever interested in joining Stampin' Up, please let me know. You do not have to sell. You do not ever even have to make a video. I like to make videos, so I do. Um, hey, Anne. Uh, Anne is on, uh, she's one of my sidelines, so like my Stampin' sister. Uh, but please reach out. I'd be happy to answer any questions, but you're more than welcome to just do it for a discount. All right, but here's another perk this week. These are a celebration item that have sold out, okay? I have five packs, which means I have a hundred of these. So I'm definitely not going to use that many. So the first 10 people who order with me this week, I'm going to give you 10 of these cards and envelopes just as an added gift, whatever order level you place at, but with your class to go kit. Hey mom, uh, I'm going to just include these in because I think you guys can use them a lot a lot better than I can. I can't use up a hundred of those. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And I have, I have had some orders come in already. So that's obviously while supplies last on that. Um, and some people have already got those and they didn't even know they were going to. So, all right, let's go ahead and make our first card. This is the first card we are going to make this week as part of this class kit. I'm going to set it off in the corner just so we have a little guideline. Let me pull out some inks here with our stamps and let's see what's in our card kit. Um, hey, Joan from Washington State. Welcome. I have never, ever been to Washington. I've been to Washington, D.C., but not the state. <laughs> All right, we've got a soft sea foam card base. We have got a pool party layer. You'll have a basic white layer, and this is embossed with the Time Warm type uh, 3D embossing folder. There you go. There you can see it. Um, a strip of the beautiful DSP. Here's the other side. It's so shiny. If you've seen Moana, then uh, you can sing the song. I'm not going to. <laughs> I will in my head. Um, hey, Cheryl from Virginia. I've also never been to Virginia. Um, you'll also have some pieces of soft sea foam seam binding ribbon. This is actually the ribbon that's in the suite as well. You'll have a polished pink scalloped circle, 
a basic white normal circle. Both of those are die cut from the layering circle dies. Hi, Kathleen from Florida. I have been to Florida. <laughs> and you'll also have a strip of basic white for your sentiment. So let's go ahead and stamp first because I don't know. I always like to start with stamping. Okay, here, I've got it. I pull in my messy scrap paper here. And we are going to start with um, Blushing Bride. And then I'm using this stamp that looks like this. Okay, so it's not the full one with the stem, but this is kind of the filler image. And before you panic, it is not supposed to line up. These stamps are not supposed to line up together. That's not how they were designed. So don't worry, you didn't have like, you don't have a pulpy one. <laughs> um, hey, Judy. Oh, welcome. Thank you for watching. Judy's from Nebraska and I have been to Nebraska too. So um, yes, yeah, stamp before you stick. That is a good rule of thumb. So we've got polish pink now with this one, which is the outline. Again, these are not going to line up. Okay. And you could totally stamp this polished pink one down first before the blushing bride. Fair game. Do whatever you want to do there. Okay. Let's pull in the basic white strip here and our sending hugs. I love that. So, okay. So Kathleen said stamp before you stick. And she means if you mess up, like if I stamped that totally crooked, I could flip it over. But if I had already stuck it down, it's too late. I can't flip it over and start over. So that is what she means by stamp before you stick, which is a good rule of thumb. Kathleen is also our resident grounder. She grounds me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not like I'm in trouble, but she always reminds me that when I'm coloring that I should ground my image so they're not floating in space. So that's a good reminder too. And not one that I always remember. So if she's on live, she usually catches me. <laughs> all right, so I just trimmed that with my trimmer just to make it a little bit more straight and all that. And let's go ahead, we are going to assemble. So I am actually going to cover up our shiny side here. Um, hi, Renee. Okay, Renee's from Pennsylvania and I also have not been to Pennsylvania. So there's not a lot of states I've been to. So, you know, I think Kathleen's the winner here with Florida and Judy with Nebraska because I've been there. And obviously, Alicia is in Minnesota and I live there. So that one works, too. Um, yes. Uh, OK, so Deborah said stamp before you stick is a good rule. And she asked if I've ever been to Missouri. I have not. I have never been to Missouri. You guys, I have a long list of places I need to get to. <laughs> All right, so I added some seal to the back of this piece here. I'm going to grab my seam binding ribbon and I'm just going to tuck it and I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to lay it all on top of the DSP because this is it's a see through ribbon. If I go like this, I don't know how well you can see it in the camera, but you can tell that there's some white and some DSP. You do whatever looks good to you. OK, I am going to make sure it is over the DSP. OK, now that that's done, we're. Go ahead and add lots more seal to our embossed piece. Remember when you are adhering an embossed piece, you want to use a lot of adhesive so it sticks, okay? All right, we will add this down. I know I have some customers from New York too, and New York is my, New York City, I should say, is my favorite place to go. So that is probably the city I have traveled to the most. I think it is. I've been there four times, so. Um, yeah, I love New York City, but I've never been anywhere else in New York. I've never been upstate or anything like that. So I know that I have some demonstrator friends who live upstate. So maybe someday I'll have to visit. <laughs> okay, so we've got that added with seal. Now I'm going to add these pieces together. So I'm going to take my basic white and add some seal. Now, sometimes I would say use liquid glue here because there's a very small margin, but I'm feeling confident today. So I'm going in with the seal. <laughs> All right, we've got that added. Then we're going to break into some brand new dimensionals here and add those. Let's see what Deborah said. Oh, um, Deborah said she has lived in many parts of Pennsylvania. Oh, that is neat. Well, Renee and Deborah, um, you guys can be good friends. You can visit each other in Missouri and Pennsylvania. Or maybe um, Deborah will move in with Renee or next door. No. <laughs> um, Oh, that's so cool. Kathleen said that her husband is from New York City. Yes, I love it there, but I am a theater geek. So that's my main thing is Broadway. I love to go for Broadway. Okay, so let's tuck in now. I took that smaller piece of the seam binding ribbon and I tucked it under my original piece. I like to do faux bows and faux knots. So I don't like, you know, wrap it all the way around the card and then do a bow or a knot. 
I like to have two pieces of the ribbon and make it work for me. That's just my preference. If you want to wrap it all the way around, totally go for it. There's no way I can do that. <laughs> okay, so I've got my sentiment here. And right on this side, on the right-hand side, I'm going to put a dimensional down. And on the left-hand side, I'm actually going to put a little bit of seal. So when I tack this down, this side is going to overlap on this piece, which already has dimensional on it. So I don't want it to be double dimensioned on that side, okay? That is why I did that. So we've got that added. Let's go ahead and add some of these beautiful flower trinkets. Now, just so you know, these flower trinkets are heavier, okay? They shouldn't affect your postage, but I'm just letting you know, you don't want to add like the whole pack to a card because they are a little bit of a heavier embellishment. But there is the first card. How cute is that? And I love, you can swap out um, whatever colors you want. So I went for Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam as my main card stock colors here because of the DSP and the ribbon. Um, Oh, that's awesome. Kathleen says she took her granddaughter uh, to Broadway and she got great seats for Throw Center. I'm curious, what show did you see? What show was that? Tell me. <laughs> I really do. I love Broadway and uh, I have seen maybe eight shows on Broadway. Seven or eight, something like that. Thanks, Mom. All right, here is card number two. This is a super fun one. We're going to use Early Espresso and Calypso Coral for this one. So let's actually, let me pull out my ink again. And we're going to do some die cutting here. Dun, dun, dun. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. All right, let's go ahead. We'll pull out our card um, kit, our card pieces. We have got Sahara Sand as our card base. That is in the DSP. We've got a Sahara Sand layer, a piece of Calypso Coral, a piece of the beautiful designer series paper. You guys notice that I am choosing, oh, sorry. Um, that was a lot shinier than I was thinking, but I have been using the like plain side instead of the shiny side. Um, I've got a scrap piece of basic white to do some stamping and die cutting, a strip of basic white for our sentiment, and then a piece of vellum. So as always, we are going to start with stamping. I actually need to clean this stamp that we used on the last card because we're going to use it with a different color so i've got my chamois here and we're just giving it a little quick clean so we can move on and actually i think we use this on our last card too can you tell it's my favorite stamp in the whole set <laughs> okay we're gonna pull in this piece i actually have no idea if this piece is going to be big enough for this is it oh i can definitely make that work your piece will have no doubt, but I always give myself like the shaft, you know, like I give myself like the random little leftover pieces and I say, you can make it work. Look at that. I can make it work. <laughs> uh, but your piece will for sure, you won't have to like say, is this going to fit? Because it will. I promise. Okay. Then we've got that one added as well. I'm going to close up early espresso and put that away. And then we'll grab in our strip here too. And... We've got the sentiment that says, today is a day to remember, which I love this. I think this would be a really good um, birthday card. And this would look, or this sentiment would work really well too on the inside of a card with the let's celebrate sentiment. Um, hey, Colin, welcome. Cool. Okay, so Brain Free Shoe 17. Oh, Legally Blonde. Oh, that's fun. That would be a fun show to see on Broadway. I have not seen Legally Blonde professionally done. I've seen high school productions of it, um, but I have never seen it done like through the Orpheum. We have the Orpheum here in Minneapolis. Um, that's where I see a lot of my shows. I saw Wicked over the weekend and it was fantastic. Uh, so I highly recommend that. If, if Wicked is touring by you, you should go see that show. It's good. I don't even like The Wizard of Oz. Don't get mad at me for saying that, but I don't like The Wizard of Oz. But I like Wicked. So, okay. So let's go ahead and we will do some die cutting. Okay. So I'll say while I die cut, last December, I actually went to New York for my birthday. My birthday's in December. And I saw Mrs. Doubtfire and I thought it was phenomenal. And I actually saw it in its final night of preview. So it's basically like, you know, the public could buy tickets and go see it and whatever, but the press like gave their final review of it. I think the night after on opening night is when they did. Um, and so, oh, cool. Kathleen said her daughter has seen Wicked and Deborah has seen Phantom Les Mis and Lion King on Broadway. Awesome. I have not seen any of those on Broadway, Deborah. 
but I have seen the tours of all of them actually. Uh, but okay. So we went in December we saw Mrs. Doubtfire and we saw it the last night of preview. Then the next day the critics came out with their reviews and they all bashed it so hard. They were so mean about it. They did not like it at all. And I loved it. I thought it was fantastic and it was so funny. Um, so I loved it. But anyway, I just think that's kind of a cool thing to like, not brag about now, but just to say, because, um, it, it did not do very well. Like a lot of people were not huge fans of it on Broadway. And so it actually didn't last very long. They had a, a C word shut down for a few months and then they came back in April and they closed in May and it's done. So, um, yeah, I kind of think it's cool that I got to see it. I got to be one of the few to make it there and see it while well, it was only like out for a few months. Um, Oh, cool. Okay. So Kathleen said her daughter saw Wicked. Yes. It's such a good show. Um, oh, that is funny. So Keisha said she's never seen The Wizard of Oz. I do think we were talking with some neighbors. I do think The Wizard of Oz is really kind of a scary movie. I really do think so. So I, my sister really likes it. And I asked my niece if she's ever seen it. And she said, no. Um, by the way, I took Seal with Sahara Sand Layer and put that on straight. Now I have Seal on Cal the Calypso Coral piece and I'm putting that on Crooked. Um, but I asked my niece if she's ever seen it. She said, no, my sister loved it when she was younger. And I just, I really think it's a scary movie. So I don't know. I don't blame your mom at all for saying, no way, you can't watch that. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, my mom says she loves The Wizard of Oz, but I don't. So <laughs> anyway, all right, let's take these cute little leaves here. I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of them. And this is going to be a little vellum trick for you. So I'm going to put these right on this vellum, which you can see here. Um, and there's a little trick with it because vellum is tricky when you're adhering it because you can actually see the adhesive through. So let's see, I'm going to put this like this which means I can put a dimensional over here, but it's gonna overlap on this, right? So just bear with my brain working there. Um, hey, Louise, welcome. Uh, okay, so Louise, is it late again for you? <laughs> you always join late, you must be a night owl. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead, we'll adhere these on to the vellum. Okay, now here's my trick. Now that these are adhered on the vellum, we know where we can put adhesive where it won't show through because it won't show through anywhere that we already have something, right? So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put my dimensionals where there's already white space that is blocking. Does that make sense? So it doesn't even have to be right on top of where the other dimensionals were, that doesn't matter. All that matters is that it goes somewhere where there's white space because then it won't show through onto our final project. Um, oh, yep, yeah. okay, so Louise says it's about 11.25 p.m. I am usually asleep by then. <laughs> but that's okay. I have to wake up early for work. So I suppose maybe you do too. I don't know. Okay. So then we've got this today is a day to remember sentiment. You can see that I cut this one a little bit longer and skinnier. Totally do what you need to do. Hey, Robin, welcome. Um, oh, cool. Kathleen's been taking her kids and grandkids to play since they were four. Yes. My nephew is four. He's been to a couple. I used to work at a theater. So He's been to a couple there. And then we took my niece to see Frozen last fall when it toured here. Um, and I think she thought that was pretty cool. So, okay. So then, oh, I almost did this. You know what? We need double dimensionals because I put dimensionals on here and on the vellum. So you can see, I just put the dimensionals on the very sides here of my sentiment, but we've got to double dimensional this so that it sticks up. Good thing I remembered. <laughs> Um, okay, let me add this and I'll read Kathleen's or Kathy's comment. Okay, so one of the best memories of her childhood is watching Wizard of Oz and Willy Wonka. Um, oh, that's funny. Yeah, okay. That's cool, Kathy. And you know, it's funny. I'm not a huge fan of either of those shows. Maybe it's because they were so available and I watched them a lot. <laughs> um, oh, fun. Louise has been playing with the vintage Christmas stamp set from the new mini catalog. That is fun. I love that set, but I have not yet gotten any ink on it. So I need to work on that. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to add some of these and I'm trying to see what color did I use on these? I think these are the bronze ones. So if you could tell here, it's gold, bronze, silver. So we are going to use the bronze ones and I'm going to put them wherever I want. <laughs> 
Um, let's put one. Yeah, we'll put one right there. Stick. There we go. Um, yes, Deborah said it's helpful to know the different levels of dimensionals. Yes. And I don't often do a double dimensional, but they certainly come in handy and I, I do love them. So, um, but yeah, it's not too, too often that I do it, but there is our second card. Look at that. We're talking about theater and we got a card made. I'd say that's a job well done, right? <laughs> okay. We've got one more card to go. Let me take a quick drink. All right. This one is my favorite hands down. I love this one. So thank you guys so much. So this is the one we are doing next. I actually made this one for a card swap that I participated in um, for a demonstrator group. And I was thinking about like cards this week and I was like, oh, I have to design something new. And I was like, nope, I love this one so much. We're going to do it. Oh, we're going to do it. <laughs> no voice crack, right? Okay. So we're going to have to clean some stamps again, but we'll get to that in just a minute. So we are going to have a Knight of Navy card base. I love these colors together. So Knight of Navy card base. Thank you guys so much. Um, which embellishments am I using? I am using these guys. I call them the flower trinkets, but their real name is flowers adhesive backed trinkets. <laughs> I actually don't think that they're in a suite, but they are in the annual catalog. We've got a layer of Knight of Navy, a layer of pool party, a layer of basic white, a strip of basic white, and then you'll also have some linen thread. And we are going to do some embossing. Um, so this is one step you will have to do on your own card kit and use whatever embossing folder you have. Otherwise, I recommend using the Time Warm Type embossing folder, which is what I will have. Um, oh, that's awesome, Kathleen. She made um, some cards for her, um, who is it, cousin? For her cousin, uh, who's a teacher, to welcome her students back to school. That is awesome. Love that. All right, let's go ahead. I'm cleaning these guys off, which we used previously. I told you this is my favorite stamp in this whole set. I don't know why, but I just love it. So let's go ahead. We're going to start here. And actually, on this card, I'm going to start with the Knight of Navy first. So I'm going to open this guy up. We'll ink up our flower stamp here, and then I'm going to stamp it down. Okay, we're not done. We're going to grab a, the cute little bumblebee. Like, are you kidding? He's so cute. And he stamps so well. I love that it's like a nice solid image on there. Okay, we've got that. Then let's go ahead. We'll do our let's celebrate sentiment here. And boom, boom shakalaka. That's what my niece and nephew would say. Except they'd say it like with a little bit more energy than I just did. <laughs> And then we'll go ahead and I don't know why my voice keeps fluctuating today. I told you guys I am a little out of it and tired from my day job, but that is okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to sleep good tonight. We'll say that. It's also 106 degrees is what it feels like here in Minnesota today. And that is miserable. But I am in the basement, in the air conditioned basement, I should say. So I've got my blanket on. <laughs> okay. And I wore a sweatshirt most of the day, but... We have got this piece. Now I'm going to emboss it. And the reason I wanted to stamp first was because it stamps a nicer image if you stamp first. So this piece will not come embossed in your kit this week, okay? So this is where I say you will want to have some kind of embossing folder that you like. My favorite is this Time Warm type, or I like the Timber. And so that is what I'm using this week. So we're gonna go ahead and send this through our stamp and cut and emboss machine. Um, Oh, that's so great. Kathleen says I'm giving her some great inspiration with the set. I'm happy to be doing so. <laughs> okay, so we've got that piece there. And then we'll go ahead and I'm just trying to save my cards where I can find them again later. Let me close these guys up. And we'll go ahead and assemble it. And this one is another one that would look so nice if you swapped out the colors. So this one I used Pool Party and Night of Navy, but you could switch for any combination of reds and oranges and yellows and greens and blues and purples and pinks and neutrals. <laughs> Whatever colors you want, right? Okay, so we added seal to this and then put it on the pool party. Added seal to the pool party. We're going to put it on this Night of Navy and I'm going to do it straight on, but you can make it crooked if you like to. Then we will go ahead and add seal to the back of our Knight of Navy. That was a gunky one. My seal got all gunky there. 
that's okay. I just like to pull some of that adhesive out whenever it does that. I pull it out of this track here because sometimes it just like re-sticks to itself and it doesn't fix the problem. Do you know what I mean? But if you go slow, which I didn't do, it doesn't get all gunky like that, at least in my experience. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll add this to the card base and we'll fold and burnish. Here's my bone folder. Okay, then we've got some linen thread. I'm going to add a little bit of seal right onto my basic white piece. And I added it right down here in the lower right hand corner. Um, and I know that that's the spot I'm going to cover with my sentiment. So that is our plan there. So what I do is if you notice, I've just folded this in half, took the two ends, put my finger down in the middle and stuck that onto our seal. Then I just use my fingers to loop around and we're making a FOBO. So there we go. No tying required. Okay, we gotta trim this down. So let me pull in my trimmer and I love the Stampin' Up! trimmer because you can see right through where you're cutting. Oh, I cut that one too close. I spoke too soon, <laughs> but that was a user error. So, um, okay. Um, oh, thanks, Keisha. Yes, me too. Keisha loves the colors on this. Okay, so I want to add some dimensionals to this, and I should be safe to just go ahead and add them on the sides. If you're nervous about it going over this, you could add the dimensionals directly on either side of the linen thread and then you know that they won't stick there, but this one should be a-okay. And I'm gonna have it peek over off of our layers a little bit, because I think that just kind of looks cool. Um, and we'll pull in our embellishments. Oh, good. Oh, thanks, Deborah. Okay, Deborah likes this one the best too, and I'm glad that my faux bow trick helps because uh, I'm, I'll tell you, you know, you spend hours and hours or not even hours, you spend like 30 seconds tying a bow and it's not perfect and you get kind of upset with yourself, right? So this, this is how I prefer to do it. <laughs> okay, so there's the third card. Look at that. So there are our three cards. Let me pull in the other ones here. So there's one, really three, two, and one. So there are three cards for this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's class. This is such a fun car or a fun class, um, fun bundle. That's what I, I can't read comments and talk at the same time. I'm so bad at that today. <laughs> um, but thank you, mom. Thanks, Alicia. Um, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed, um, but such a fun bundle here with the splendid thoughts and it has some truly great sentiments. This one we did not use today, but I do love this. It says much love in your new life together. How perfect is that for a wedding? Like, or even like an adoption, right? How perfect is that? We didn't use it today, but we definitely could. We could, you could use it here. Let's celebrate. And then on the inside, you could do that much love. That would work too. Um, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Just as a reminder, you can get these card kits for free by placing a $35 order in my online store um, before tax and shipping. You just head to shop.stampwithmelissa.com. Use that host code right there. This The link is also in the description of this video. So you can check it out there to go straight to my online store. If you're on my email newsletter, don't worry. You'll get an email with a reminder as well. Um, but you can order whatever you want. So $35 gets you the six card kits, two of each of these for free. And if you go up to 50, you will also get some of these from me, the flower trinkets. And the first 10 people who place an order will get 10 of these beautiful sold out soft sea foam and pool party cards and envelopes to make whatever you want. We didn't use them today, so you can use them for whatever you want. Okay. Um, and that's just the first 10, cause that's how many I have to give everybody 10 cards. So, uh, and then you also get to pick out a celebration item when you hit $50 and don't forget Stampin' Up! introduced more celebration items today and they will run through August or while supplies last, although they are all products from the current catalog. So hopefully they'll stick around. And if they go out, they should you know, come back in stock at some point. Um, but remember that you do have to use the special celebration code for that item if that's what you're redeeming. But when you're ordering online, it should just be a link right there. You should be able to click on whatever you want. Okay. All right. I think that is all I have for you today. Oh, one more thing. If you'd like to sign up for my Texture Chic Club Create, 
make sure you check out the link in the description to do so. Um, sign up for the subscription. That is a super fun card club that I offer every month. You can opt out at any time, you know, unsubscribe from it, cancel, whatever that word is. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so we'd love to have you join us every month. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I got to go get ready for a team meeting. Again, if you have any questions about joining Stampin' Up! or getting a discount on your craft supplies, please let me know. I'm happy to answer questions. And you're also welcome to attend these team meetings too. Um, what are the card clubs like? Well, great question, Deborah. Um, I'll say bye to everyone else. But if you want to know what the card clubs are like, I'll tell you. Well, I was going to pull them out, but I don't know where they are right now. We have, um, so next month, I or it is August. So in August, I forgot it was August. Uh, we are featuring the Texture Chic Suite, which is from the current annual catalog. And you know what? I do have my catalog right here so I can show you what that suite looks like in case you don't know. But let me see. I got to find. Oh, I just passed it. I was going to go to the beginning and look for the page and then I passed it. Here it is. So this is the Texture Chic Suite. This is the one I am featuring in August. So you get to make, it's similar to these classes where you get to make um, two cards of three designs. So you get six cards um, and you also get $20, around $20 in product. It's usually a little bit more um, to make those cards with leftovers to make more cards of whatever you want. It is $38 that includes shipping. You subscribe at club.stampwithmelissa.com, which again, that link is in the description of this video and you can unsubscribe at any time. So there's no pressure. You can try it out for one month. You can try it out for 75 months, whatever you want. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is the suite we're going to feature in August. I love it. I love the cards I made with it. And I think it was last week I shared a sneak peek at those cards. So you can head back, watch that video if you want to see that. It should be near the beginning. Um, yeah, and it's super fun. You get written instructions. And then in your sixth consecutive month, you get a $25 thank you credit from me, uh, which is basically you get to pick out $25 of whatever you want that's current product and I will add it to your kit for you. So just as a thank you for doing club with me. So that is in your sixth consecutive month. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys next week. You're welcome, Deborah. Thanks for asking the question. Happy to help. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.